lifts are a great exercise that are going to address the shoulder girdle and the shoulder girdle's responsibility and relationship to the thoracic spine. Here we have Anna lying prone. We've got one arm relaxed at the side. This is important. We don't want this other arm up top because it's going to interfere with motion of the thoracic spine. The right arm here is out straight, fully extended at the elbow on the floor, and it's going to externally rotate at the shoulder joint and supinate at the forearm. This is important because what this does is this cues the scapula to downwardly rotate and adduct the way we want it to. So it sets it in the right position. And it's also going to engage her transverse abdominis here to stabilize her lower body while we create a movement up here. We're going to ask Anna to relax her lower body so she's not going to tighten up her legs or grip with her toes into the floor or anything like that. From this position, keeping the elbow extended and externally rotated, Anna's going to lift her arm off the floor several inches, creating extension, rotation in the thoracic spine, creating stabilization and motion at the shoulder girdle here, and strengthening these muscles, allowing most of our exercises or movements that we do with our upper body are going to require unilateral movement of the arms and we need that rotation of the thoracic spine as if we were walking. From this position we're going to have Anna vary the movement by moving her arm out on about a 45 degree angle from her torso and repeat the motion. So now we get a slight change in the, in the rotation of the scapula to accommodate the movement of the arm but we still have extension and rotation occurring at the thoracic spine abdominals are engaged. If the abdominals aren't engaged, you're going to see the person rocking all over the floor because they've got no point of reference to anchor the upper body muscles from. The third position, Anna's going to move her arm out to a 90 degree angle to the floor here. Elbows fully extended, forearm supinated, externally rotated the shoulder, and again, lifting up to where they can. Now, some individuals you will find will not be able to lift their arm off the floor or they will flex the elbow and internally rotate and attempt to get the arm off the floor. You want to discourage that. What's most important is that they stay externally rotated and extend at the elbow. Even if the arm doesn't lift, they're still going to engage the right muscles to accomplish this exercise. One of the other modifications that we can do to this exercise, for some individuals, this third position that Anna is doing is actually easier. So we could begin with this position, and we could reverse the direction of the exercises, moving our way up from first, again, 45 degrees to second position, third degrees directly overhead. We'll do this for repetitions, approximately 10 repetitions at each position as she moves down, allow the individual to rest and repeat for several sets. Then alternate arms.